Guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name's Simon down here at Burford Golf Club. Just finished work out of the shop at 6.30. Thank you for everyone supporting the channel. Leaving a like, sharing, subscribing means a hell of a lot. Now, if you don't know, I've recently just started working here and I'm going to see how many holes I can get in, film, do a bit shot trace. I haven't done this kind of style video for ages. So guys, if you want to see more of these videos, then please do let me know um, uh, because I'm more than happy to do them. Um, they just take a bit of time but it's worth the effort so let's talking i've literally just played the 10th not too bad spoiler alert um and yeah i'm just going quickly i'm actually on the back nine now here at burford as you can see it's quite a well matured golf club it's built in 1820 lots of trees everything like that so i'm going to show you it let's get into the video So as I said, really excited to be at Burford. Obviously I'm gonna be doing a lot of teaching, a lot of club fitting, and giving myself general more time to make more videos just like this one. Um, uh, and yeah, being a bit more structured and everything else and getting back to what I really love and why I turned um, pro and obviously become a PGA golf coach, um, uh, just so that I can have a bit more involvement in a members club, um, as well as obviously trying to progress with everything I've got going on here. Lovely golf club, there's no question about it. I've played pretty much every hole now. This is probably the last few holes that I had not played, I had the chance to. Now, you can see the greens had a bit of maintenance already done on them. They're actually gonna have a lot of maintenance done over this course this week. So that's why I thought it'd be important for me to obviously show you guys a bit of the greens, a bit of the putting, because actually we're gonna be going on a few temporaries over the coming um, few days, just obviously the amount of work that green pool keepers gotta do, because this, Golf course is an all year round golf course. I've been told it's in awesome condition. Um, and yeah, obviously the work's got to be done. So that is why I wanted to get out, at least get six, seven holes in and show you guys a bit of the golf course, a bit of putting and everything else like that. Um, and then as soon as it's back to full glory, we'll be doing matches and nine hole course logs. And all the stuff that I used to do when I had time to do them, I'll be putting back up onto the channel. Now, if you haven't checked out, I did do um, an update swing video the other day, um, which I posted yesterday. So if you want to go and check that out, have a look. Um, I'm coming across the ball a bit. I'm definitely hitting a fade, um, uh, which I don't particularly mind, but it is be leaving me this weak block right. Um, uh, it's not even a block because that's not how you hit a block. But um, leaving that club face too open, it's kind of this high right shot anyway, um, which I don't particularly mind, but I do need to work on it. I haven't worked on my swing this shot. Oh, I just went for it. In competition, I'm never going for that. But just visually, I saw it with the camera. I was like, oh, obviously, I've got to hit that. Caught the tree on the end there. Kicked out into the fairway. Fortunately, leaves myself a 9 iron in. Anyway, I digress. Long drive, obviously, is the goal for the um, year. I want to get that club head speed up. But at the same time, I want to be um, playing with the members. I want to be playing with my lessons. Um, I obviously want to be playing with course vlogs, other YouTubers. So I've got to have a decent game about me i can't go out and keep shooting um at 78 80 um, i do want to obviously shoot um, around the um lower figures and obviously under part so i've got to have a tidy game that's including putting that's including chipping so i'm going to be showing a few videos coming up um over the course of the month what i'll be using drills tips everything else like that um because obviously i want to improve my coaching because that's where i'm going to be earning most of my income um as well as obviously um helping you guys and obviously improve my own game because obviously there's no point me trying to teach everyone else if i'm not making sure that my game is up to scratch i should have put more visuals i'm sorry i should have put more visuals now i look at this and um, this is a small par four here 310 um, I just went past the flag and you can see now, I've never played this hole before, but I short-sided myself. So a long iron off the tee, wedge into the green, I think percentage play with that one. This is a par four, about 350, 360. Um, I tried to play a little cut over the trees there, hit it too much, but luckily my driver's a bit high and spinny at the moment. Um, definitely not something I'd use for long drive, um, uh, but it gave me that forgiveness. I stopped a bit short of the trees there, which is nice, little wedge in. Um, and just trying to shallow out the wedges at the moment. They were so steep um, from hitting off mats all the time. Now I've got a grass range, which, by the way, is superb. 
Um, it allows me to obviously shallow out um, uh, my wedges, making it a bit more consistent, not necessarily picking it so clean. And especially coming into winter, that's going to be so beneficial. Small par three here. It's like a postage stamp covered by all bunkers from every corner. Little pitching wedge into the center of the green. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to working on my putting and chipping again. Something that my game is definitely lacking um, in terms of hitting balls at the range at JD for such a long time. My irons and driver, okay, it's technically not great, but you can see, obviously, I've got a bit of feel for it. So I get away with it. I get away with the bad shots and um, I can manufacture the good shots. Definitely um, something to obviously work on, but I think putting and chipping is definitely going to improve my shot making ability. What an 18th hole this is. Best drive of the day for me. Smashed it down there. Good odd 300 odd yards. And um, yeah, beautiful. Perfect for me for a left to right at the moment. A little wedge into the green here. So guys, that's just a real quick vlog style, which I used to always do, which if you've been a member of the channel for a long time, you would have known me doing a lot of these. And it's just down to time. It does take time to edit and make these. But I love making them. Um, so if this is something you're interested in, guys, and we're seeing a lot more, then obviously uh, comment, leave me a like. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get a lot more of these out at different golf courses with different people. Uh, and hopefully we see my progression as well through throughout the year. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching. As I say, love the golf course, love the track, and excited to be playing again. There's a lot of swing changes, a lot of work to be done there, and also increasing the clubhead speed for the long drive stuff. Um, but otherwise, enjoying making daily videos, which is the important thing, and I'm gonna try and keep that up. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. Catch you guys later.